Today we'll talk about groin strains. So the next time someone says, I think I pulled my groin, you can tell them about the adductor magnus and the gluteus maximus and sound like Leonardo da Vinci. More importantly, we'll teach you how to prevent it from happening. Groin strains are a partial or complete tear of the adductor muscles located on the inside of the thigh. The main movement pattern in hockey is forward skating. Forward skating is comprised of two phases, the push phase and the recovery phase. Most groin strains in hockey occur during the push phase. During the push phase, the forceful contraction of the gluteus maximus results in extension, abduction, and external rotation of the leg. This leaves the adductors susceptible to a tear at the end range of the push phase as they undergo an eccentric contraction to stabilize and decelerate the leg. Muscle fatigue and imbalance are the two main contributing factors to a groin strain in hockey. Two mechanisms of injury are high velocity skating and rapid changes in direction. Groin strains are classified based on the amount of muscle torn. A grade 1 groin strain is a few muscle fibers torn. A grade 2 groin strain is nearly half of the muscle fibers torn, whereas a grade 3 groin strain is a rupture. Come on, Johnny, hurry up! Let's go! Get your feet moving! Coach told me I need some work on my triple sow cow. Snoopy, get out here. Are you alright? What happened here? Oh, I think I... My groin, I think I broke my acetabulum. Oh. Oh. We'll get you checked out here. Oh, you still got a pulse. So, after quickly moving through the ABCs, we move on to the secondary survey, where we ask Kurt a couple questions. First, we ask him what happened. In this case, I saw what happened, so he didn't need to tell me. Ask him where it hurts, he points to his groin, so right, right there, right on his adductor longus. And then you ask him if we can move him off the ice, and he's comfortable moving. Yeah. So after that, he's comfortable moving, we call out a player to help us out, and we move him off the ice. Once we get him into the dressing room, we'll run through hops. We'll go over his history, observation, we'll palpate the sensitive area, and we'll do some special strength, active, and passive range of motion tests to check and see what's going on. After that, we'll throw ice on him for 15 minutes. Following this, we'll take a pressure pad, put it on the spot, and tensor it around. We follow the price principles, and we prescribe NSAIDs for the next 48 hours until the swelling goes down. I got some better exercises for you if you want to do that. Start with some low load, low rep, high volume exercises. Start by lying on your side on the mat. Position your body in a straight line resting your head on your bottom arm. Stabilize your body by placing your top foot on the ground in front of your knee. Gently raise the lower leg off the floor to roughly six inches. Uh, in a controlled manner, lower the leg back to a starting position. Keep in mind, uh, keep your core engaged, lift from the inside of the hip, and controlled lower for three seconds. Start in crook lying. Place a ball between your knees. Squeeze your legs together as if you were trying to pop a balloon. Hold the squeeze for five seconds, then release. Keep in mind to keep the core drawn in tight. Maintain tension in your adductors throughout the exercise. If it is found to be too easy, modify by lying in a supine position and placing the ball at your ankles. Start with feet shoulder width apart and feet rotated outwards roughly 45 degrees. Bend at the knees and hips and stick your butt back like you're trying to sit down. 
lower your hips till your thighs are parallel or, or as far as your hips will allow you. Press back up through your heels and repeat. Keep in mind to have a flat back during the movement, the core tight, and do not let your knees lock out until you complete the exercise. Start with one foot on the slide board. Place your hands in front of your chest. Maintain majority of your weight on a stable surface. Squat down, sliding your foot on the slide board out to the side. Return to the starting position by pulling with your adductors and pushing up from the squat position. Keep in mind to have a tall chest with a flat back. Keep your legs straight out to the side. Other exercises include standing cable adduction, adductor knee pulls, alternating lunges, and seated adduction. This is how we roll. Any questions?